Good morning, everyone. And today we're gonna have a little talk. I'm not gonna edit this video. It's been a lot on my mind lately. And I thought I would share with you. When I started my YouTube channel almost two years ago, I decided I was gonna do something that very few people do. I decided I was gonna be very intimate with my audience. I was gonna share them everything. I was going to share them parts of my life that were personal. First started my YouTube channel. It was an outlet for me to share my life. A lot has happened to me in these last two years. A lot of it you know about and some you don't. And for the first six, seven, eight months, it was just a way for me to share with the outside world my life. Six months, eight months, and year grew. So did my channel. And I started thinking, could I share my life? Plus, could I generate some income with it? Something that was new for me. I've never earned any income in my life. And in about a year into my YouTube channel, my husband was leaving a business and he hit his head really hard on the cement floor. When he came to, he had a concussion and he was never the same after that. And he realized that in other health issues, he was not able to work like he was used to. And so our income went almost to nothing. And at that time, my YouTube channel started really growing. What I'm about to share is not a pity party. It's not drama to cause views. It's just life. And I'm going to share with you the realness of it. And a few months later, he had his prized possession and he sold it. That was one of the saddest days of my life. We're not immune to the harsh realities of the world. We're not immune to see what illness can do and how it affects the whole family. But my channel kept growing <laughs> and I kept thinking, what happens if I could be like some of these channels? What happens if I could make an income? So I started to fantasize what it would be like if I could make enough money that I could buy back what he had to sell and I could surprise him. These are good dreams to have, but they're not realistic. My channel kept growing, it kept growing. And soon YouTube implemented some new rules. You had to have a thousand subscribers to be able to be monetized. And when they unmonetized a lot of these channels, my income really grew. And I was starting to feel really excited. I'm actually gonna make some good money. You know, a couple hundred a month. This is great. And then all of a sudden, the money just dropped off. When these channels came back on, the money was dispersed to everyone. And I realized that we never fail in life if we give it a try. So for the last eight months, I gave it my all. I ate, I slept. In my waking hours was all YouTube. I threw every single thing I had into it, sharing my life and doing everything because it was enjoyable, but because I thought maybe I could help supplement a badly needed income here on the homestead. And I realized sometimes in life, it's just not meant to be. I started seeing other people. now. A friend of mine has twice as many subscribers as me. 
But every time I, turn, I see her videos, she looks so tired. It's if we're killing ourselves in hopes that someday we can make a living on YouTube. And for some, it works. But for the vast majority, it doesn't. So I realized that I need to go back and doing my channel and doing it for fun. I need to go back and just have a fun time on YouTube. There are disappointments, of course. When I started my survival series, what I didn't tell you was, it isn't a series. It is my life. I don't cry for self-pity. I don't cry in hopes of getting people to feel bad for me. I cry because I'm sharing with you a very intimate part of my life and something you just don't see every day. But I vowed that I would share every part of my life. So my survival series is my life. My life is survival. My whole life, my husband was the breadwinner. He worked 90 hours a week and he made good income, but he burnt himself out. I hope he doesn't see this video because there are parts of your life that are hard to share. But you are my friends. And this is not a depressing video. In fact, it's an encouragement video because I always say, if you try something, you never are a failure. The people who fail in life are the ones who never try. And there's a lot of people that watch this that want to make a life on YouTube, a money life on YouTube. I'm not here to discourage you. There may be one out of a thousand that watch this that will become something that they can make a living on YouTube. But that for the vast majority of us, just do it for the fun. Don't ruin your life and your health in hopes to make some money on YouTube. It's just not gonna work. So for me, if I can't make a living on YouTube to the point where I need to, so how do I save my money then? The old saying is, a penny saved is a penny earned. So I need to save and not spend. It's easier to save and not spend than to spend and try to come up with the money to be able to spend it. I realize that we are not alone in this endeavor. And I realize many of you who watch my videos are like me and trying to find ways to save money. And many are like me who money is really tight. So you can understand this video. And maybe there's a few of you who are really not in reality and understand. I know what those kind of people are like too. Not long ago, we were in a group of people and once again, they stood in front of my husband and said, so why did you sell your nice truck you had? I was so angry. Some people are so cruel and some people have no sense of reality. I wanted to look at them in the face and say, are you really that unsensitive? Don't you understand that sometimes you have to give up something you love in order to live? I'm gonna end this video with a very special story. My husband was at the Dollar Tree the other week 
and there was a man in there and he was crippled and you could tell that he was homeless. My husband paid his bill and my husband went out to the car and he kept feeling like God was telling him to give this man some money. So he thought he would give the man five dollars. He thought for sure he had a five dollar bill. But when he reached in his pocket, he only could find a 20. He had one $20 left. He said to himself, oh, I only have $20 left. Surely that's, that's too much to give. And he wasn't going to give anything until he realized, no, if God told him to give some money, he should give some money. He went in and he handed him the $20. And the man was just exuberant. He couldn't believe it. He raised his hands and said, praise the Lord. And my husband felt really good. Because you see, my friends, God doesn't give. For you see, my friends, God doesn't ask us to give out of our excess. God asks us to give where it hurts. And I thought that was an amazing story. And I realized that so many things in life, you want, we want to get something out of it. We do things in hopes of getting something out of it. Or we do things in hopes that something comes in return. And sometimes God's just asking us to give and not receive. And that's kind of a hard lesson because our flesh wants to receive. We want to give something and receive something. I'm going back to where I'm giving and I'm not receiving. I'm going back to my YouTube. I'm going back to my roots. I'm just sharing my life just for the fun of it. And I think that there's where I find my happiness. And my survival mode will be my survival mode. Will I film my survival mode? I assure you, I assure you I will. We'll have lots to laugh about. I learned a lesson. I learned a valuable lesson. That sometimes in life, things are just not meant to be. But that's okay, because we gave it a try. And brighter days are always ahead. I've always told you that. And I'm looking forward to turning this camera on every single day and sharing with you my life. There may be a day once in a while that you will not see a video from me because on that day, I'm taking a break. But you'll understand because I'll be right back. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not quitting. I'm not leaving. In fact, I have more determination than ever just to share my life. Just to share my hopes and my dreams, my ups and my downs. This was a hard video to make. Probably one of the hardest I ever made. But I felt it was needed. And I felt that it was something that should be done. Because I promised you on day one that I would always be an open book and I would never hide things and I feel so much better getting it off my chest and I feel so much better in sharing you every part of my life and I hope you understand where I'm coming from with this video and I'm not fearful of sharing things anymore you've been part of my life for so long you know me and you know my heart 
And that, my friends, is something to smile about. Take care, everyone. And we'll see you tomorrow.